Hello guys and welcome back to another Valheim Hearth and Home news update and today we've got some in-game footage to check out of Hearth and Home. Now first we'll be talking about the in-game food system update followed by the new combat features. As noted prior to Hearth and Home, food may give a buff to stamina or health but generally each meal balanced pretty evenly. Well Hearth and Home switches that out by giving us food that focuses on stamina, health or a balance of the two. Now these are represented by the new coloured forks on food items. We have red for mainly health orientated food, we have yellow for stamina or white for a balance of the two. Now this will be useful depending on whether you're building and need for example lots of stamina or if you're exploring dangerous dungeons where you may need extra health. In Hearth and Home, when we consume food, there will now be a real-time timer on the food, so we know exactly when we will need to eat more food. Though a minor change, I think this will really help people stay on top of their hunger, as I often find myself forgetting about the food with a bar that just slowly fades. In the next clip, they go on to talk about how stamina and health will also affect combat styles in-game, so you may want to focus on a given food for your particular playstyle. Obviously, if you want to deal a lot of damage fast, you're going to need a lot of stamina to do the attacks. But interestingly enough though, having a lot of health will not only allow you to tank more damage, but this now affects your blocking. Higher health will allow you to block more and along with this is a new stagger bar. So if you're f you favour stamina over health, you'll actually have to be more careful with blocking as you may find yourself staggered to similar how we can stagger our enemies in game. This in itself is really nice to see as it will give more variety in multiplayer servers where you and a band of friends can focus on your own fighting styles. You can actually have designated tanks or high DPS players. This does mean though that for single players that you're probably going to want to go for a balance of food and stamina or make sure that you stay far enough away from the enemies so that they won't stagger you all the time. I'm also loving these little weekly updates that they're currently giving us. It feels a little like Kindle is starting to burn and that possibly within the next four weeks, Hearth and Home will be released to us. And I really cannot wait for it. So that I have to say is all we have time for in this video, but don't worry, I've got something coming up soon, which I think you guys are going to really appreciate. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to our amazing patrons, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, The Calamity and Cerebral Tag, as well as our Lunar Eclipse patrons, Dixie Chris and James Irwin, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, Papa Snoozy. Anyway, guys, until next time, let me know what you thought. Ciao for now.